Good morning, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. That's a 1972 Postal Jeep, that's my new ride. Holy moly, what a mess. <laughs> Let's see here. little toy here <laughs> I'm playing around definitely has a positive uh, rotation to it but anyway look at the mess in here anyway we're gonna carve a prop today and I gotta clean up first there's no room to work more lights to put up more batteries another battery sitting off over behind that chair probably can't see it on the video yet anyway and a couple other little deals gotta mount this clamp and my makeshift charge controller. You'll enjoy that. 1306 right now, not bad. Well, this is a cordless broom. <laughs> Got most of the trash cleaned up. And cigarette lighter plug on the end. And the two wires out. back the screws backwards and got down a ways and drove through this MDF here and here and here and here and I got this mounted some screws down here in the bottom got to get knocked off right here and where's the other one oh over here and a little bit sticking out over here on this thick board underneath but uh, that ain't all that hard to knock off just hit it with a hammer and she's done and that'll be mounted good for me and we'll be ready to start carving props thanks to mr. ankle grinder and uh, a hammer. We got them little screws off where they're not going to cause an accident or me to blood all over the place. So now it's all mounted and we're ready to stick a board in there and do a prop. Alright, see the cord going out the door to the generator. There we go. That was that long light taking up part of my fence there. And we still got that one, that one, and the 12 volt one if we want. Yeah, plenty of light to work on everything at night while it's nice and cool. Sorry about the noise of the generator, but I got about a 50 foot cord that generator. Alright, so we got that set up, and uh, next thing is to get into this. Alrighty, we got these two uh, pieces of wood here. The thickness of the wood from here to here is 40.6 millimeters. And you notice I got three stages here. On the other side I got one eighth of an inch right here and basically 0.38 inches from here to here 0.2 inches and 0.2 inches if we're looking at it in millimeters we're looking at 5.2 millimeters uh, 5.2 millimeters 5.2 millimeters and 9.7 millimeters right here and all the way up to the full width of the cord right close to the hub this is the center of the prop where I'm looking at right here this is the center of the prop, so this is going to be two matches. So basically, with this side higher than the other side, when the wind comes down on it, it's going to turn this way, clockwise. You always want a prop to turn clockwise. That tightens everything up if you have a nut on the, uh, on the hub. It tightens it up, so that's what we're looking for. So this is one side of this prop, and there's the other side, one-eighth of an inch, like I was showing you. And everything's all drawn out. I already got the hole drilled in the center of this one here. We're going to drill a second hole afterward. I did it on a balance here, just to show. <clears throat> Boy, that thing's tight. It, so far it balances, and that's what we want to keep all the way through. Every time you do one thing to one side, you do it to the other side, and you check the balance, and that way your prop will be the same shape and everything, and that's what we're looking at. I'm taking it over right over to the center of the hub on the edge, because I'm going to be working from here out. All the way from here on out to the end. Okay, so if we got this side up higher than the other side of the prop, which looks like this, that means when the wind hits it like this, it's going to want to travel this way, so it's going to turn clockwise. If we do one thing on one side and do the same thing on the other side, then work to the other side and go back and balance it each time, 
we're going to wind up the same shape on each blade, and that's going to keep it working pretty good. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energy. Okay, as I was explaining, all this wood on top has to be removed. So most of the wood on this is going to be removed. We're cutting down to this line here and down to that 1 8 inch line there, so this is going to be down at an angle. If I cut level across this blade until I get down to this mark, then all I got to do is lean the saw forward until I get down to that other line and rock it back and forth to find the middle and I'll know my angle and I can cut the middle out of that height. Or I can just chip all this wood out of the way and then it makes it easier to see what I have. Anyway, I'll show you when I get it curved pretty much, then we'll come back to it. Okay, if you look over here, I lowered the table on my drill press, put vice grips on the very end on the wood where I'm not going to hurt it, raised the table up, locked her down. That's going to make this a lot more stable for me to saw on, a lot less mistakes. Well, we look it up at the time, it's almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's already up to uh, 103 degrees here, plus it's very humid. So anyway, we're looking down here at where I was curfing. I'll show you one more thing. And I'm going to wrap it up after this. Just too hot and I don't have a chisel. These you can break off going like this. Just take little pieces. Now, there's something you have to know when you, when you do this. You can't just keep doing this. This wood grain, right here where my thumbnail is, is going uphill just a little bit. If I bust one this way, it might bust up under this line. And then you got a, a splintered mess up. You want to bust it this way. You want to bust it to going uphill. You knock all them pieces off. All this is curved. This is where the draw knife does a lot of good. You can actually come in like this, but I don't have my chisel. I'd rather use my chisel. I can bust a piece off here. I'm actually doing this from the wrong side. Let me come around the other way. You can take this down low enough right here with the draw knife. That's a cool thing about a draw knife. It'll grab in all this stuff. Give me a nice low table to bust the next piece off with. That way I'm not going all the way to the bottom. So I keep busting this way. That way if it busts, it's always uphill and not going down below these lines that I cut. And you can also just, you could just go like this, pop these off. This draw knife is a nice tool, much faster than a chisel, much, much faster than a rasp. And I've got it backwards here, but this is the way you should be. But this can dig in. Two ways to use that draw knife though. And you gotta check your wood grain every so often. Then you can come back here and clean it up. And it's slipping in the vise. There we go, I got everything moved a little bit. Usually a good thing to, when you get closer to the thinner parts, start busting it off up here. I'm taking a little layer at a time. There we go. Just take the tops of these off. Then start shaving a little bit at a time. And you can come down and get it right to that surface where you want. And that's the beauty of a draw knife. You don't want to take big, chunks in it and this curfing helps to keep it from splintering into the wood. So, and there you are. I just tipped it up a little bit so I can get some of the top off of this. Thin layers, work it down. I think I'm going to resume this tomorrow with the chisel after I get it down then fine plane it with the uh, draw knife. Now part of it over here that doesn't go up down, uphill. There we go. Very fast, very fast. Alrighty, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. Very hot in here.
You take care. God bless. Come see me again. I'll be making more videos here pretty soon. I'll be bringing the uh, axial flux down after I get done with this carve. And we'll be working on that. And the uh, night job I've had here that's been doing part of my days as well. That's about to disappear. And that means more time to do this and I'll be working at night again. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and Other Home Energies. Many good things to you and yours. Never learn electrical safety by accident.